What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is Tuesday, it is 6pm, thank you very much for being here, hopefully you're enjoying the content, if you are, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new, oh dear. Um, I don't know if we're going to be getting much content today, but we're going to find out. Um... It would be nice to get some cool content today because headliners, generally speaking, so far has been pretty poor. I can't lie. Uh, we will start with objectives. There is a new daily objective. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Milestones. There is no new milestones. <laughs> In store, there's some packs. <laughs> World building challenges. Upgrades. Nothing. Icons. Oh, nothing. I was hoping. I was hoping. League SBCs. No, nothing. Live. Oh, record breaker Edouard. Before we look at him. First 11 player for a draft token pack. An 84 plus player pick. And. Odd Sonne Edouard. Oh, do you know what? This is an alright card. Oh, this is a very good card. He's four star, four star, six foot two, high medium work rates, which is nice. He's got 91 agility, 95 balance, and 92 composure. His reactions are pretty poor. You're going to have to improve that. Stamina is good. Jumping and heading is good for somebody who is six foot two. Strength is very good. Aggression a little low. His passing for a striker is good. 87 vision, 86 short pass. He's got 90 curve and 92 free kick accuracy. He's got finesse shot trait and flare trait. He's got very good base pace and his shooting needs a little work. It's three segments and he's only 85 rated, but I assure you this is a top, top card. He looks real nice. Let's have a look what he's going to cost. An 82 rated with a Premier League and an inform. An 84 rated with an inform. And an 85 rated with a French player. Current market. What's that? 50. Probably like 100. Probably like 120k. Uh, I mean, I think that's all right. It is a bit. It's, it, no, it's all right. It's all right. He, he's going to be good in game. I just know he is. I know the way this game plays. He's going to be so good in game. Um, we've then got the first 11 player. Complete this headliner's challenge to earn a reward. It's a draft token as a reward. And it's going to require 75 rated squad. What? Whoa. An 83 rated squad. Fortunately enough, 83 rated players are about 800 coins. So, you know, this is going to cost about 9,000 coins for a draft token that would usually cost 15,000 coins. So I suppose in that sense, it's decent. It's somewhere to put some 83 rated fodder, which is decent. 75 chem, one club, min two, same country, minimum three, same league, maximum four. It's unnecessarily challenging. For a draft token. It's there if you want it. And then the 84 plus player pick. One of three. I reckon this might be an 84 rated squad. Oh that's much better. An 83 rated. With a team of the week. But an 83 rated. Let's go and pop an 83 rated squad in there. Here yeah. Boom. Boom. See you later for Elementi Power. Boom. Boom. Untradeable anyway. Boom. 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 I don't know what I'm saying. Boom. Boom. Nah, boom. E boom. <laughs> he can go in there and he can go in there. So that is the uh, the rating. Let's get the chemistry and then we'll go and pop a team of the week in there. He can go in there. He can go down there. Bish. Bash. Bosh. And then let's go and get ourselves a TOTW. Hello. There we go. Gold team of the week. There we go. Um, and we'll pop in, we just need like an 82. Let's pop in a uh, Traore. Boom, there we go. So here is our 84 plus player pick. It's one of three, which is Trebion. Obviously headliners are here, which is Trebion. That's not one of three 84 pluses, is it? That's one of three 84. Let me know what you got in the comment section below, guys. Um, 
Let's go and have a little look at uh, how well this um, this uh, this new Eduard card has been received. I do want to compare him to Aubameyang as well. Um, I, I think the draft tokens are going to be downvoted. I think Eduard's going to be upvoted. Yeah, he's upvoted. 84 player pick upvoted. First 11 player downvoted. Uh, like, and that is exactly right, right? It's just exactly right. Um, I can't lie. I think this Edward card looks phenomenal. Would I put a maestro on him? The reason why I like a maestro is because it does boost those reactions by 10, but the reason why I don't is because I do feel like you need positioning and finishing. Finisher is very good because it does boost positioning and finishing, but it doesn't boost reactions. Hawk is very good because his finishing and shot power goes up massively. Physically insane. Great pace. Decent positioning. Hunter only gives that plus five as well. Uh, what about Marksman? Ooh. Marksman might be the chem style, guys. 99 finishing. His positioning doesn't get touched. His reactions go up five. But look at those dribbling stats. 98 ball control. 99 dribbling. 92 composure. 91 agility. 95 balance. 99 strength. With good passing. And then good shooting. You don't really have much else. Why, why does nothing boost finishing? More than five? Dead Eye does. Do you want to waste a Dead Eye on this card? I mean, again, pace is real good. Shooting becomes brilliant. Passing becomes extremely good. Dribbling already is very good. It's those reactions that are a bit of a problem. Marksman doesn't boost it at all. Hawk only by five. Artist not at all. Architect not at all. Powerhouse not at all. Maestro not at all, unfortunately. Good for reactions but not for anywhere else engine of course doesn't boost any of the needed uh setup there gladiator doesn't boost positioning at all anchor of course doesn't hunter does but by five i think i think i might be inclined to go for basic i might because it gives him five more sprint speed, which is really nice. It gives him five agility, five ball control, and five dribbling, which is really nice. His reactions are low anyway, and they're going to stay low. It gives him five strength and five jumping, five curve, five short passing, five vision. Really nice. The only then problem with this card is his shooting isn't great. It's good. It's not great. 88 positioning, 89 finishing, 89 shot power is good. It's not great. But with the way this game is... I actually think this might just be... But basic, basic might actually be an option. Even Sniper doesn't really help. You're either going to go Basic or Finisher, I think. Or Hawk. You might, you might want to do Hawk. Hawk gives really good stats, actually. Hawk's really nice. I, I'd, I'd be torn. I'd be torn. I reckon you might have, like, three different styles of player on your hand here. The fact he's four-star, four-star as well, Finisher's great for it. Because with the four-star skill and with four-star weak foot, 99 agility and balance for a big man. What is his body type as well? High and average. Um, great, like perfect finishing, great shot power, good positioning, good pace, great dribbling outside of reactions. I think finisher might just be the one. But there you go. Edward is there. So let's get a little, uh, little look at his price point. So yeah, 50... I think this is actually more like 50k, 55k. This is apparently coming in at 34k for an 84 with an inform. That's like what 80k, 90k. This is like 10k, maybe maybe 15k. This card's 100k. That's a good. That is a good SBC. I I, th I think it's a good SBC. I think it's a good price. Um, I think you guys might enjoy it as well. But uh, yeah, that guys is uh, going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy, it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.